Hi, my name is Chrissy Cosina, and I will be showing you how to insert images into Adobe Captivate 8 projects. Uh, I started off with this blank project screen that has you know just a, a standard you know text template and uh, you know gray and black background here. Uh, I'm going to change the theme and uh, choose something that has a darker background and lighter text. So this half tone. Uh, theme it should work nicely so let's uh, say yes and, and wait for the, th the theme objects to load uh, the, the th basically the image uh, images that we were selecting is going to be a uh, you know kind of like outer spacey and uh, the, we're going to change the background image uh, to something that's you know more uh, space like and uh, this probably won't uh, give learners the sense uh, of learning about science and outer space if it's just this halftone image that has uh, uh, spots and stuff. So we're going to go to the master slide view over here and click on master slide view. And there should be uh, ways to change the image right here so you can you know change uh, you know make it solid or you know put uh, a gradient in there and it looks like they've kind of put a gradient here for the template uh, but we're going to go ahead and change this uh, image right here so just click on it uh, we're going to go import and select one of the ones that uh, we've made so I've I've uh, photoshopped an image uh, but you can select something that's you know similar to the size that, uh, of your canvas you know from any uh, stock image website like pixabay.com and this is where I've got this uh, image so I, I cropped it so that it'll fit with uh, the uh, 1024 by 768 uh, size that uh, we've made for our project so let's uh, click on it open <clears throat> and uh, it'll look like this and the template elements are still on here so if you want to get rid of uh, one of the smart shapes you can just go ahead and uh, delete it and so this will be the background uh, right here. So if you want to go back to uh, the film strip view, you'll go uh, click right here, film strip view, because otherwise uh, you're, you're still in the master background in the master slide elements. And you know, essentially, all of if you insert slides, all of them will look like like this with the background. So that's the reason why I had you change the background so that you don't have to insert images every time that you want to insert a slide. All right, so let's go back to the film strip view. And now you've got, you know, your template text right here, and you can just click to add uh, text if you want. So we're going to go ahead and click on, you know, double to click to add text, and then we're going to change this to something like our solar system. And then maybe click on, let's see, we're going we're gonna to change this to basically just... Uh, we want to add an image to the side. Delete that. You can make these however you want, so we're just going to delete and then change this. Uh, add text. Okay. I'm going to say Jupiter. That's the planet we're going to talk about here. And then uh, maybe give it a couple of bullets. Just click a bullet here. I'll say largest planet planet in our solar system and then we'll say it's the fifth planet from the Sun and maybe give it another bullet and say it's distinguished uh, by its giant red spot Okay, um, well, let's go ahead and add a an outer shadow in here just to kind of help it, because uh, it's white text, you know, with some of the lighter background elements, so that might help it stand out a bit more. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and add an image. So you can go over here to Media, Add an Image, and let's see, we're going to go, because I have, uh, let's see, go back. <clears throat> Let's see, uh, inserting images, yes, right here, uh, we have Jupiter PNG 
that I've uh, cropped in uh, Photoshop as well, but you can select any image you want. Go to open, and it'll show up right here. And then you can just drag and drop it to wherever you want. And essentially, you have a slide uh, that uh, has you know text and images, and uh, you can manipulate this however you want. There's uh, uh, you can edit the image if you want to make it lighter. Uh, let's see, you can just make it a little bit lighter, and not sure why it uh, did that, but uh, you don't have to uh, edit the image at all. And uh, that's pretty much it as far as adding you know, images, uh, like just simple images. So um, I guess uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching. See you next time.